was his name. As a boy, he always knew a sailor he would be, so he studied the law of the sea. Captain of his crew, a brave, ambitious man, determined to explore, he discovered a new land. The sun and sky, and his heart would be his guide, a man of valor and pride. The king and queen, their blessings he obtained to carry the flag of Spain. Tempest and rain, a strong, courageous man, determined to explore, he discovered a new land. The sails raised high, he searched the great unknown, his quest for adventure, dispelling any fear. A sure, courageous man, Columbus it was he, who sailed to new horizons across the great blue. Like that. No, it's great. Say, would it be too much trouble to teach me to repair sails? No, but do you think I'll be any good as a teacher? Mm-hmm. Giovanni says that when it comes to fixing the sails and the rigging, Costello's the best there is. I'm the best there is? Giovanni told you that? Well, he said you were good anyway. I praise from a sailor as good as Giovanni. The best sail mender there is. <laughs> if you really want to learn, you may have the honor of studying with me. Hey, great! But right now I have to check the ship's speed. Luigi, it must be time. Right on the button, Sonny. You have an innate sense of time. Now take this log and throw it from the bow. Mm -hmm. our speed. The ship's not moving as fast as I thought. Hmm, it's a worry. Wet the blocks. You've learned a lot, haven't you, Christopher? Yep. But I haven't mastered latitude yet. It's all right to love your work, but life at sea is run on watches. When you're off duty, you're supposed to rest so you won't fall asleep on the job. I'm not sleepy. Resting's a waste of time. Oh, I forgot. Costello said he'd teach me how to repair the sails. Costello! Costello! Costello? I wonder where he's gone. Huh? Thank <laughs> you. 
work, man. We made it. Hey! <laughs> we made it! It's smooth sailing as far as the eye can see. Hey, what's the first thing you're gonna do when we get to port? What do you think? Head straight to the wine shop. I'm gonna sit down to a decent meal and have a bucket of fresh water. Hey, Luigi, how long till we get there? We're running late, and at our present speed, it'll be after dark when we reach Calamai. Right, Giovanni? Right, we'll load on provisions of food and water and sail on the morning tide. We'll reach Kios in two days. Listen to me, man. <clears throat> I have an announcement. It concerns our intended mm -hmm. stopover in Calamai. Mm -hmm. I know you've been looking forward to it and you deserve a rest, no question. But we are way behind schedule, as Luigi will confirm. Mm -hmm. Therefore, this fine ship that I command won't be stopping on the way to Kiosk. Huh? What do you mean the ship's not stopping? <laughs> well, how do you like them apples? Are we gonna stand for this? Not if I can help it. Captain, we're going slowly because we have too much cargo. Now, I have nothing against making a profit, but I want to be around to enjoy it. We have little food and water left. How much faster do you think you'll go with a starving, thirsty crew? You're right. You're right. <laughs> However, the more we eat and drink, the lighter the ship will be. So, you see, if we keep sailing night and day with a lighter ship, in no time we'll be back on schedule. I don't want to sail night and day. Not on an empty stomach. We're on short rations already, and I'm mighty sick of it. I demand a night in port! We can't sail another day with an empty wine barrel. Not when the captain's is full. <laughs> <laughs> Costello, that was insolent. Mark it down! Hey, hey. I'm the captain of this merchant ship. You call yourselves sailors from Genoa, and yet you have the impudence to question your captain's orders on the high seas? Depends what they are. <laughs> we want to eat, Captain. We need supplies. We're hungry and thirsty. We're at the end of our rope. Do you mean to say that you're defying your captain? <laughs> huh? Mark down the name of every one of these mutinous seamen. Aye, aye. Right. You must stop this mutiny at once. Don't hurt me. I, I mean, cease and desist. Mutiny is a capital crime. <laughs> Captain, look. Let's make a deal. The crew will obey your orders and give up their stopover in exchange for extra time off later. You have to promise us two full days of rest in Kios. Uh, okay, win. I promise. Two days off in Kios, and the sooner we get there, the better. Yay! By the way, the crew's wine barrel is empty. Mind sharing yours with us? My wine? Thank you, Captain. Another fine example of your thoughtfulness. No wonder the men respect you so. Stop this folly. Listen to this, men. The Captain has offered to share his wine barrel with the entire crew. Let's hear it for the most generous Captain that ever sailed on the Mediterranean Sea. Yeah! 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 It seems you're becoming popular. Giovanni's a real diplomat. Changing course. Ready to head up. Helm, head up. Four points. Red to the wind. Whoa. 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 Whoa.
been at sea as long as I have, you'll be able to sleep on your feet. The way a horse does? More like the way an ox does. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like Noah's Ark. <laughs> Oxtail soup, go down a tree. Go uh, on, back to the tiller where you belong. Aye, aye, sir. <laughs> <laughs> He's amazing. That's the word for him, lad. It's because of his hard work and good humor that we're still on course. High time I took over at the helm. Chief! Be right with you. Wow, I'm so lucky. As soon as we're done, we have two days' rest. Hey! Oh, wow. Christopher! Huh? Keep it moving, Christopher. Hey! You're holding up the line down there. Up, two, three. Once the ship is unloaded, we get two days off. You can do your sightseeing then, okay? Mm -hmm. Good. Not much longer now. Thank the Lord. <laughs> You're sure that your crew are ready to leave for home right away? Absolutely. Would I lie to you? You'll take 7%? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it does a body good to do nothing. I'll be catching up on my sleep. <sighs> Well done, everyone. We unloaded that cargo in record time. Now stand by to secure the ship to the dock. All right, let's do it. Yes, sir. Here it comes. 
What do you good-for-nothings think you're doing? We're making the ship fast to the dock. There's no need for that. We'll be setting sail again soon. Huh? Mm -hmm. I don't understand. Just listen to what I have to say. It's good news for all of us. Huh? I know you'll be as delighted to hear it as I was. We'll start loading food in the cargo you see over there in those barrels, and then we'll set sail immediately. What about our two days rest? You surely can't be serious, sir. We barely slept in two days. You promised. You can't break your word. Of course I know what I promised, but let me explain. I said I have good news, the best. Those casks are packed to the brim with glorious spices from India. I got them cheap. I bought the lot straight from an Arab sea captain. If we sail immediately, we'll be the first ship back. And I don't have to tell you what that means. Uh, hmm? Hmm? <gasps> we'll make a lot of dough! Oh! <laughs> There's a clever lad. We'll get double the price. <gasps> double the price? Wow! Amazing! Double the price just for getting there first? What's it to us? <laughs> We won't make double. Double the price, huh? Mm -hmm, that's right. It'll be worth it. I'm not asking you to work for nothing. When we're safely back in Genoa, you'll all be paid double your wages. Really? Well... I oh. like the sound of that. <laughs> Pretty tempting, huh? What do you say? Wouldn't you call that a generous offer? No. <gasps> but he said he'd double our wages. <gasps> Captain. If you were a sailor, you'd be able to read the signs in the sky. It doesn't matter. Perhaps there is a storm brewing, but if we set sail now, we'll be ahead of the storm. All we have to do is reach the Cyclades Islands by nightfall, and we'll be out of danger. Can't you see the crew is exhausted? They do give that impression, but the promise of money will revive them. Oh, I'm ready to risk it. Me too. It's twice the money. I can't pass that up. It'd be dumb. Say you'll come. We're not too tired to sail. I'm not anyway. I don't know about you. Come on, Giovanni. Let's go. Let's go, Giovanni. Like it or not, the men are prepared to sail. Mustn't sail. It's too dangerous. I'll be the judge of that. The Star of Genoa belongs to me. I'm her captain. And if you don't like it, then clear off the ship. Giovanni! Sometimes we just have to knuckle under, Giovanni. You said so yourself. We can make it through safely. But we don't want to sail without you. Look on the bright side. Please, Giovanni, we all want to go. I've known you all too long to leave you now. Let's hop to it and get out of here. Are you with us, heart and soul? Heart and soul. Jack Tars will do anything for money. Captain, I'm warning you. If the men come to any harm, let it be on your head. I can handle the pressure. Push harder. That's the last of them. Cargo safely stowed, Giovanni. Hoist the mainsail. Keep us steady. There's a gusting wind. Christopher, you must go to sleep. Mm, I'm wide awake. That's an order. I'm sorry, sir. What's the matter with Giovanni? For once, the crew agreed with the captain. So Giovanni's in a bad mood. 
but we agreed because the captain was right this time. Look at that clear blue sky and feel that freshening breeze. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>